system. So let's let's do the uh, Ways and Means report pull off item eight. So on all items, uh, Ways and Means except number eight, clerk will call the roll. Oh, I'm sorry. Further discussion, Councilmember Andrew Johnson. Thank you, Madam President. I just wanted to speak to item number eight. I'll be. Uh, okay. So did you want to? Uh, is it I'm, I, I think we'll have the roll call on all items except item eight, and then people can speak to that if they want. That sounds good. All right, Councilmember Fry. No, Council, Councilmember Cano. Sir, Madam President, could you repeat what you said to Councilmember Andrew Johnson? I couldn't. I couldn't hear. Um, we are going to have a roll call on all items on ways and means except item eight. We'll vote on item eight separately. Got it. Okay. okay. So on the ways and means report, uh, all items except item eight. So one through seven, nine through 16, uh, clerk will call the roll. Council member Yang. Aye. Johnson. No on item number nine, yes on all the others. Quincy. Uh, aye. Warsami. Aye. Goodman. Aye. Fry. Aye. Palmasano. Aye. Gordon. No one number nine. Aye on the rest. Kano. No one nine. Aye on the rest. Wright. Aye. Bender. Aye. Glidden. Aye. President Johnson. Aye. There are 13 ayes on the report, except for number nine, which has 10 ayes and three nays. Those items are adopted. On item eight, then, Councilmember Andrew Johnson. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, today, I'll be voting on uh, item number eight as a no. Uh, and I spoke about this at committee, you know, and I also spoke about this when originally this came up before the council. I do think that. You know, this is a community that has uh, had uh, historically uh, racial injustices, and this is really displacing potential for the community to add value and do something amazing with it. And actually, I think you see that right here with this uh, indoor urban farm, and I'm excited uh, that Representative Clark has uh, worked hard to secure millions of dollars for this space. You know, I'm working with developers uh, along my light rail stations, 38th Street, 46th Street. Uh, it's going to add value to the community. And they tell me light rail stations are the new lakefront. It's a great area. It's highly attractive. It gets people around. And the same thing's true of the Greenway as well, which this site happens to be off of. So I'm surprised that for a site that's literally on the Greenway that is a couple blocks from a light rail station, that we are occupying it with space that's not going to be adding value to the community. But the reason why I voted at committee a no on item number eight was because I understand that uh, we were going to use eminent domain for this property when the private landowners weren't willing to sell. We ultimately did not approve of that eminent domain process because once it was threatened, they ultimately were willing to work with the city in order to sell the land. And I think that. It was a heavy-handed tactic that I don't appreciate on a project where this location is absolutely nice to have. Certainly, there are operational efficiencies to be gained here. Certainly, it's convenient for city staff to be located in the center of the city. But there are alternative sites, and I believe we have to respect when uh, both the community and the property owner uh, and the representatives for the community don't want this to happen, that we you know, look for other options when other options are available. So that's why I'm voting no today on item number eight. And um, I hope uh, as many of my colleagues as possible can join me on it. And I also just want to say too, you know, our staff, I uh, said this at committee, are great negotiators in general. They're, I don't fault them for using every tool available to them. And uh, certainly if I was in a private deal, I'd want the kind of talent that we have negotiating. And uh, the council member Reich's point, you know, I think we have uh, tremendous public works staff and team and crew, and they are good neighbors at their facilities. And, uh, and I appreciate all the work that they're out there doing. So I'm not trying to uh, in any way uh, knock public works nor our uh, property services staff. I think that they do tremendous work. I just don't think that this is the right move for uh, this community. N wrong location, wrong time. Thank you. Councilmember Fry. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Um, and I, yeah, I will also uh, be voting no on this item. I, I just wanted to give a brief explanation as to why. Uh, the, the present water yard 
uh, is just maybe four or five blocks away from where I presently live. Um, and I didn't know it was there, honestly, until I joined the city council and until this issue became readily apparent. Um, and once I've been looking into the matter further, uh, you know, our public works employees, uh, they contribute greatly to the community. They patron many of the local businesses. Uh, you know, we, we love having them in the ward. That being said, there is an underlying need to transfer where the fire station presently exists and over to where the water yard is over on Fifth Avenue in Hennepin. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm also listening to the community as well. Um, and while uh, it, it doesn't seem like the financing is presently there, uh, having the, the possibility down the road of, of regaining $3 million and putting into the, uh, into the structure, I think, I think would be a, a wonderful thing in combination with the, uh, the public works facility. Councilmember Connor. Thank you, Madam President. Um, for the public record, I just want to state that this issue um, is a, a racial equity issue, and um, I believe that folks should be voting no. I will be voting no on this item today. Um, I think that we have the opportunity to create a new and better future for the racially concentrated areas of poverty of our city. This item does not accomplish this. Uh, this sets us behind, and so I look forward to the day where, um, as, a, as a council, we can start owning that narrative and that story and that experience in a better way and that we can start turning the patterns of institutional racism around. I do want to thank the community for being here. I want to thank you for all the work that you have done to raise the issue in the community, to share the understanding um, amongst your neighbors and your families and other elected officials. I think you can see that we have a huge challenge before us. And I think you know that we're going to need a more serious campaign behind this. I encourage foundations and philanthropic partners to invest dollars and hire more organizers to be able to bring this issue forward more forcefully, because clearly we don't have the votes to turn our communities around right now. We have people power, we have spirit, we have love, we have compassion, we have commitment, but we need a plan and we need to come here stronger and better. And you see the people that are here supporting you, you see the people that aren't. So I just want to make sure that um, you take this as a challenge, not as a way that we've been beaten down or that we lost again, but really um, what have we learned and what are we gonna do better and how can we bring more fire and energy to the table? So thank you for being here today with your children and your beautiful signs. I have three kids of my own and this is why we need to do this work. Um, so I, I thank you for being here. Any further discussion on <laughs> Any further discussion on ways and means item number eight? Seeing none, clerk, call the roll. Council Member Yang. Aye. Johnson. No. Quincy. Aye. Warsani. Aye. Goodman. Aye. Fry. No. Palmasano. Aye. Gordon. No. Kano. No. Wright. Aye. Bender. Aye. Glidden. Aye. President Johnson. Aye. There are nine ayes and four noes. That item is approved. With that, we dispense with the Ways and Means report, so we're on to zoning and planning. That committee is chaired by Councilmember Bender. Thank you, Madam President. We have just two items today from zoning and planning. Item number one is uh, regarding an interim use, use permit application for a principal parking facility at 718 West Broadway. The committee had sent this forward without recommendation. I will move Councilmember Yang's uh, amendment that everyone has in front of them. Uh, and item number two is approving eight individuals to serve on the Minneapolis Arts Commission. As I've said before, we're very thankful to these and the other volunteers that serve on our boards and commissions. And I'll move uh, then again uh, Councilmember Yang's uh, motion on item number one and move forward item number two. Councilmember Bender has moved um, Councilmember Yang's motion, which is in front of you, Zoning and Planning Committee number one, uh, which moves approval of the interim use permit submitted by Station 19 Architects on behalf of Sanctuary Covenant Church to allow a surface parking lot located at 718 West Broadway, subject to the following amended conditions, and there are number um, five conditions. Councilman Riang. Um, thank you, Madam President. Um, if I can speak to the motion, that'd be great. Why don't you go ahead? Okay. Um, thank you, and I, I hope you all can bear with me on this. Um, you know, first off, I wanted to give a shout out to Sanctuary Church and its members, uh, many of whom are uh, in the audience right now. Um, no, with with an issue like parking, I mean, I, it, it was kind of strange that I mean, it was it was quite a fight, but we got to a good place, I hope. And uh, so, you know, with with this, um, I've thought a lot about faith recently while working on this issue with Sanctuary Covenant Church. First and foremost, I want to thank them um, 
and I want them to know that they are welcomed in Ward 5. For a site on West Broadway that has sat vacant for years, they were the ones to step up to do something. They have a lot of faith, and for that, they should be applauded. Sanctuary Church knows they are doing something very different. They are building a church in an urban commercial corridor that some consider to be the heart of North Minneapolis. Not only that, they have promised a phase two in the next few years that will be a commercial development. I have faith that they will do what they say. Sanctuary Church has an estimated 500 members, according to their architects and one who is out there right now. Uh, the rule of thumb for church parking is two to one in terms of people to parking spaces. Applying that rule of thumb to building a church on West Broadway would have had an absurd result. 250 parking spaces on West Broadway is, in my view, insane and should have meant that Sanctuary stayed away from West Broadway. However, Sanctuary was willing to do things differently. So when this interim use permit was brought forth with only 50 parking spaces, it might have seemed reasonable to allow it. But the problem was that any sort of surface parking lot uh, of that scale would have gone against the spirit of the West Broadway Alive plan and it would have precluded future development. This compromise of only 25 parking spaces is in line with Sanctuary doing things differently. After conversations with staff in Sanctuary, we are here. Um, no one's happy, uh, everyone gets something, and I think this is a win for all of us, I hope. Uh, this motion represents a negotiated compromise between Sanctuary Church and the city. I thank Pastor Edwards, Pastor Holtz, and everyone at Sanctuary for believing, for compromising, and for doing things differently. I thank city staff, especially Mei Ling Smith, for helping us get here. I thank Councilmember uh, Bender's office for helping us get here as well. And I especially want to thank my policy aide, Sean Broom, for making sure that we got here. After a lot of negotiation, we have an agreement which may allow everyone's faith to be realized. Today, I'm asking for my colleagues to support amending the staff recommendation on this item with the following conditions. And you have the motion before you, but it reduces the stalls to 25 parking stalls. Um, it, it asks the church to landscape at least 100 feet back from West Broadway. And it asks that the permit uh, be allowed for five years until 2021. Uh, some of the congregants at Sanctuary m must be wondering why their council member is so hung up on parking for a church. My concerns with this are ensuring the viability, the opportunity, the development of West Broadway. The church, which has no experience with commercial development, will face many challenges with their development plan for the parcel. I hope the reduced parking will create the greatest opportunities for development. I hope that this 25 space parking will be only temporary with a better solution before us in five years. And I hope that the space between West Broadway and the parking lot will be used by the church and the community in a productive manner until such time, and I hope it's very short, that a brand new commercial development is built. Development on West Broadway will take everyone, even churches. We, take sanctuary, we are taking Sanctuary Church and their 500 members at their word that they will develop something commercial on West Broadway in five years or less. Sanctuary must be different from others who have promised but haven't delivered on developing on West Broadway. And I'm gonna close with this uh, because we're talking about faith. The Bible features several parables about the humble mustard seed with some watering and tending a mustard seed will grow into a large tree. Like the mustard seed, when tended, faith can grow into something sturdy, permanent, and nourishing. I have faith that the vision of sanctuary or the vision sanctuary has for this par parcel will grow into a permanent and nourishing part of West Broadway. All of North Minneapolis will be watching faithfully. On <laughs> Councilmember Bender. Thank you, Madam President. Well, I don't have anything as eloquent to say about parking. <laughs> <laughs> but I did just want to commend Councilmember Yang and the applicant for coming to this agreement. It's such a big deal, and taking on parking is a really emotional topic. And again, uh, Councilmember Yang really showed a lot of leadership and foresight here, making sure that this opportunity along Broadway um, that we are all going to work together to realize uh, wasn't precluded by, by the parking. 
And so uh, I think this is really preserving an incredible opportunity. We have a, a faith organization that's willing to take a risk and invest in the community. And again, um, you'll have our support as we all move forward into that next phase. Uh, so again, thanks Councilmember Yang for taking on uh, parking. <laughs> Any further discussion on the zoning and planning report? Uh, Councilmember Fry. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Just echoing Councilmember Bender's sentiment, uh, Councilmember Yang, you're doing such a wonderful job rejuvenating that area over there, and I really commend you for it. And even if it is just parking, uh, the collaboration that you've shown to uh, the community, I think, is is uh, exemplary. So thank you, thanks to you, thanks to the community. On Councilmember Yang's um, uh, motion, which is to, uh, since the report was sent forward without recommendation, his motion is in front of us um, to approve the uh, interim use permit. And then um, item two is the um, Arts Commission appointments. And that's it, I think, yes. Uh, so on those two items for zoning and planning, clerk will call the roll. Councilmember Yang. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Quincy. Aye. Warsani. Aye. Goodman. Aye. Fry. Aye. Palmasano. Aye. Gordon. Aye. Cano. Aye. Reich. Aye. Bender. Aye. Glidden. Aye. President Johnson. Aye. There are 13 ayes. Uh, those items are adopted. The zoning and planning report is adopted. Next, we have the introduction and referral calendar. And the first uh, item is a pursuant to notice motion by Councilmember Warsami. Uh, is introducing the subject matter of an ordinance amending the code relating to purchasing disposal of surplus property for first reading and referral to the Ways and Means Committee, adding provisions related to donation of city property. Any discussion on that introduction? Seeing none, all in approval say aye. Aye. Opposed? Under resolutions, we have the honorary resolution um, honoring Peter Ginder for his service and dedication to the city of Minneapolis. Any discussion on that resolution? Seeing none, all in approval say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Next, we have the 2016 Parkinson's Disease Month Honorary Resolution, passage of the resolution recognizing April 2016 as Parkinson's Disease Month. Any discussion on that resolution? Seeing none, all in approval, say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Uh, number three, we have 2016 Mexica New Year Honorary Resolution, passage of a resolution honoring the historic relationships among the Dakota Anishinaabe Nawa and other indigenous nations and recognizing the Mexica New Year Nahu Tepak Day in Minneapolis. Uh, any discussion on that resolution? Seeing none, all in approval say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Under new business, we have a tobacco license dealers in the C1 district ordinance. I'm giving notice of uh, intent to introduce at the next regular meeting of the city council uh, the subject matter of an ordinance amending the code relating to tobacco dealers, amending provisions related to tobacco dealers in the C1 zoning district. That notice is given. And next, um, I am giving notice of intent to introduce at the next regular meeting of the city council the subject matter of an ordinance amending the code relating to administration, personnel amending provisions related to severance pay for appointed employees. That notice is given. Any announcements? Councilman Mercano. Thank you, Madam President. I wanted to give everyone um, a warm invitation to this Sunday's Raucous Caucus Party at Walker Community Church. It'll be, um, again, this Sunday from 4 to 9, and there's going to be um, bands playing. Uh, there will be uh, some spoken word and community artists to talk about uh, the nonpartisan way to engage in, um, in your caucusing system. And so, um, once again, we invite everybody to come out um, this Sunday from 4 to 9 at Walker Community Church. I hear there's going to be some uh, performances from um, the the local folks who do the um, the welding for May Day, and there might be some fire throwers and uh, some uh, music and art. So I hope many of you can make it. Any other announcements? Seeing none, a motion to adjourn is in order. So moved. Any discussion? Well, no discussion. All in approval, say it. Aye. Aye. Opposed. That carries. We are adjourned. Thank you all very much.